Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com, and today we're going to talk about releasing your music on vinyl. Is it worth it? All right, so of course, there's still a huge market for vinyl. Not only do some DJs still use it when they DJ, there is also a large market for collectors. Now, I myself, I collect vinyl, a lot of older stuff. I don't really get too much new stuff, and I will if I really like the song. But I get mainly a lot of the old stuff and everything from rock to hip hop to uh, R&B. You know, I even have like movie soundtracks on vinyl, things like that. Whatever I can find that I like. And a lot. sometimes I just buy stuff for the cover. If the cover and the album cover looks nice, I will buy it no matter what the genre. Or sometimes the records just look nice themselves and I'll get to that in a moment. Now, of course, the main thing that people release their music on now, of course, is CD and digitally, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. And a lot of it's going towards just digital. But like I said, there's still a large market for vinyl, for collectors who are serious into your music genre. For instance, the hip hop group De La Soul recently released an album and it it hit number one on the hip-hop albums chart i believe last week and that's a a great thing because they're an old school group but they still they're still popular they still have that fan base and of course like many hip-hop groups do they released it on vinyl they made it look nice and of course a lot of hip-hop collectors love to get the vinyl as i do so it's just a nice thing now it is kind of expensive to get vinyl pressed And it's not cheap. Uh, It's worth it when you sell it, obviously, but the startup to get it done is not cheap. You can, there's tons of places to do it. You can just go on Google and search vinyl pressing, things like that. Of course, disc makers, they've been around forever. They press vinyl and uh, many other places. You can get, um, get it done for, I'm not sure what exact price is, but you can look, but I know it's not cheap. But you can make a profit from it if you sell it. You know, you might want to get a limited rundown. Now, if you want to do something like this, I would say to do it if you have the budget, obviously. Like, don't go out of your way to release vinyl if you don't have the budget. I mean, don't worry about it. Just do digital, especially if you're a smaller, lesser known artist. But if you have a fan base, a decent fan base, I'm not talking like selling a million records fan base, but if you're an indie artist that has a decent fan base, you can sell vinyl and they'll buy it up. Uh, for instance, one of course, this is old, but this is a picture disc. This is the album here, but it has Michael Jackson on the album. And I always thought that was pretty cool because that's like a picture on the actual record. And there's other things you could do. I recently picked up this is from a group called Doggy Style, and I think they're rock or punk, maybe, I'm not sure. But I bought it because the disc is all green. And if you could see it, it has like all these, excuse my lights, but it has all these like people on it. And that is actually the vinyl and the what you actually play. It's pretty cool. So you can even get creative and make discs like this and it you know people will love it people will buy it they'll buy it because it's unique and i don't think it's too much more money to actually make it um, special like that it depends where you go obviously but people like something that's different and unique and if they're into vinyl and if it's unique they'll be more willing to buy it so you can get vinyl done in any uh, any amount of colors uh you can get it completely clear you can get it just standard black obviously with the paper label you can get pictures done on them i've even seen this one group somehow i forgot the name of them but they made an album where it had real blood in it i think it was the blood of the lead singer maybe it was something of that nature where there was blood 
somehow encased in the vinyl and you can move the disc around and it would move and like you could see the blood moving around in it and you could actually play the record. Stuff like that, collectors will buy up. So in my opinion, yes, it is worth it to get vinyl if you have the fan base for it and if you have the budget for it. It's just something that people love, you know? Now also, it's funny because guess what else is coming back, kind of? Cassettes. People, certain groups and certain, a lot of, not really hip hop, but a lot of rock, punk, uh, you know, hard rock groups are uh, releasing their album. They do it digitally with CDs and all that good stuff, vinyl, and then they've been doing limited runs of cassettes because people, collectors, are starting to buy high-end cassette players from the past and they fix them up and cassettes actually sound amazing if you have a decent player and decent speakers they don't it like you know a lot of people thought they sounded crappy because they would buy crappy cassettes you know those old school cassettes you would buy and they're just not good cassettes and you would throw it off the radio or whatever and it just sounds like crap if you have a decent cassette with a decent mix and a decent player cassettes actually sound pretty damn good and a lot of people are realizing this they're buying players from the 70s 80s that were really nice looking and some because of that some bands are releasing their music on cassette which is actually really cool I know it's a small market but it's cool and it's something different to think about if you and if you have a fan base that's pr pretty decent and you tour a lot your fans will buy this stuff because it's just a piece of your music a piece of your the band a piece of the artist so there's so much you can do so much potential to be creative and of course a great album cover whether it be cd vinyl cassette draws people in so be creative on your cover get a professional photographer to take the pictures for you if you want some kind of crazy stuff going on with it get someone who is good with photoshop or whatever other program they may use to make something nice to make something that draws people in to make you know it's all about your branding too, like the color, your logo, all that comes in to what draws people in to buying your music. So it's a lot to think about, but yes, vinyl is still there. There's still collectors for it. If you have the fan base for it, they will buy it. So it costs a little bit to do, but it's worth it in the end if you have the people to buy it. So, But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already registered, go to www.worldwidemusicdirectory.com. It is a world music directory. It's a place where people can go to discover music. You can go there if you're an artist or a band. It's free to list your music in there. And it takes like five minutes at most. And it's great because it's something else that is picked up by the search engines. So it's more visibility for your music, artist, band, or whatever. So. Once again, visit the Worldwide Music Directory, www.worldwidemusicdirectory.com. List your music if you're not already on there. Free to do, doesn't take a lot of time, and it's worth it. Now please subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave a comment. If you have any questions you want answered about the music industry, please leave it down there and we'll try our best to get it. And I wanna thank you for watching the video. Thanks for watching my videos. And I wanted to tell you about a few things. I'm gonna leave some links in the description below so make sure you take advantage of them i want you to check out and download our ebook it's a step-by-step -step guide to release your own music from start to finish check out the link below it's called release your own music a step-by-step -step guide download that today also django radio it's a streaming service like a pandora and they're doing a special offer with me where they're giving artists and bands 100 spins on their streaming station you just got to click the link below. You can only use this link to get that offer, and you must be a new Django user. It's an excellent opportunity to get your music out there to more people. Check it out. Click the links, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.